everybody, Patty Chanel here, stamppatties.com, stampin' in my flops. I am going to share today with you a project using the new Dandelion Wishes stamp set. This kind of has like a, a fun fold, I guess it will, and a belly band. So um, it slides off and your card can open so that you can write a nice big long message in it. So we're going to start by turning the camera around and I'm going to share with you the supply list. So hang tight for just a second and let me see if I can get this turned around. All right. So let's see here. Sorry, you know me. I'm not a videographer, but we're going to make do. Okay. So our supply list for this project I will have the photograph on the blog post, so make sure you check back to stamppatties.com. We're going to be using Whisper White and Basic Black card stocks. So what I've shared here with you is the dimensions of the card um, and all the other pieces. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's get this down a little bit closer so that you'll be able to see what's happening here. Okay, I think we got a fairly good shot of my work surface. Okay, so I have first of all the card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and I am going to be scoring it at two and one eighth um, on both sides, two and one eighth, or two and one eighth and six and three eighths, I believe is the dimension. Again, it'll be on the website. So that when I fold this card, these pieces are gonna meet in the center, okay? And this is going to be a horizontal card, so it will open like this. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take our smallest piece of basic black, which is three inches, by four and a quarter inches. I'm using Versamark ink and I'm going to take my uh, dandelion image. Um, actually, before I even do that, sorry about that, I forgot about my embossing buddy. So my embossing buddy is like kind of like, it reminds me of going bowling and putting chalk on your hands. What this does, you put this all over your paper and what this does is prevents any of your embossing powder from sticking to the paper. It's only gonna to stick to where you actually have the ink. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up in Versamark ink, which for those of you that may not know, this is a clear ink. So when I stamp it on this black, it's gonna be very difficult for you to see. I'm kind of going up towards um, the left side because I wanna leave room for a greeting image which is going to go down in this bottom right corner. It says sending well wishes um, your way. And that is gonna get stamped on the bottom right hand corner. Okay, this is where the magic starts happening. So I'm gonna grab my embossing tray and some white embossing powder. And I'm gonna cover this with that white embossing powder shake off the excess. So you should now be able to see the image. Ooh, I got a little blemish there. Not gonna worry about it. Looks like a blowing dandelion. All right, and then we're gonna take our heat tool, our Stampin' Up! heat tool, and we are gonna turn this on, and I'm gonna hold it until I see the image start to change, to go from a powder to a waxy looking finish. Hopefully you're able to see that on the video. And as soon as it's done, I'm gonna show it close up so that maybe you'll be able to see that. That looks like it's pretty done. Okay, so let me get that up close. Can you see how it now has that shiny finish? It's no longer a powder. Um, when you get a fancy wedding invitation that has like that uh, raised 
uh, waxy finish. That's what this is. This is called embossing. So I am going to be using my snail adhesive. So this piece is going to get adhered to a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is three and one quarter by four and a half. So we're going to adhere that to the white. Awesome. Okay, one more layer, black. This piece is, oh, what is this? Three and one quarter by four and a half. And again, it'll be all on the website. So I'm going to adhere that. Perfect. So on my supply list, you'll see that there is a uh, one and a quarter by 11 inch strip. So this is going to be our belly band, if you will. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to try to center it as best as possible, but it's really not that big of a deal because we're going to cover it. And I'm bending it over the card. Now we're going to be having a little seam and that's okay. I'm going to put a little bit of snail adhesive on my strip so that it stays stuck. So now I have this sliding belly band that holds my card closed and I have one final step to do. I'm going to take my card uh, focal point. I'm going to put a couple of our Stampin' Dimensionals on the belly band. Peel that top layer off. Perfect. And I'm going to try to center that. Awesome. Okay. And guess what? We are done. You now have a very simple but elegant card. Sending well wishes your way. This could be for someone that's not feeling well. This could be... Um, a wedding card actually because you're wishing them well obviously and it's all going to be dependent on the message that you put on the inside so i hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial and please make sure that you visit uh, my website and it is at www.stamppatties.com and on this blog post, you're going to see many, many more inspirational items with our Dandelion Wishes stamp set. Thanks for tuning in. Happy stamping. Until next time, bye-bye.